we usually like to say that the forest is our supermarket, the forest is our pharmacy, and the forest is where we get everything that we need. Every minute around the world, an area of forest which would cover the size of 30 football fields is being destroyed. This is a disaster for the fight against climate change, as well as for the 60 million people who rely directly on forests for their survival. Efforts to stop deforestation have mostly failed, yet there is a body of evidence on how it can be done. And it shows that one way to protect forests is for the people who live in them to have a say in how they are run. All the research shows quite clearly that if the communities who live in the forest or depend on the forest, if they have a say in how the forests are being used and managed, that's the best way, the most effective way to stop illegal logging. In 2003, the European Union started a scheme which puts forest governance at its heart. The language around it is complex, but the concept is simple. Countries with strong laws to stop illegal logging and protect the rights of forest people would get preferential access to the EU market. This is done through trade deals called Voluntary Partnership Agreements, otherwise known as VPAs. Many across the developing world say that the scheme has led to historic changes in the way their forests are being managed. Forest laws are being strengthened and for the first time, local communities are being given a voice in shaping their country's forest policies. We have seen in, uh, from examples from different countries that the VPA creates a space where our rights and our concerns can be brought to the, the, the government um, and they can take it on board. And we believe through improved forest governance, we wouldn't have the amount of illegal logging that's currently happening. So th those are the benefits that we see from the whole VPA process. Millions of euros, as well as huge time and effort have gone into this scheme. Some say it isn't working, pointing out that illegal timber is still coming into the EU and deforestation continues. FERN has supported voluntary partnership agreements from the start because we saw them as a tool to get real change on the ground. It's not something that can be solved in a few years. But if you look at what it has achieved in terms of addressing corruption, increasing transparency, building capacity of local civil society actors, complicated issues like who owns the land on which the forest rests, an enormous amount of progress has been made. And we'll never really go and ta tackle the illegal logging issue unless progress is being made on these issues. Malaysian um, illegal timber is still making its way into the EU. Critics are saying this is an example of where um, the policy has failed. If there is no political will to address these issues, then a VPA will not go very far. Having said that, by negotiating with Malaysia for nearly 10 years, very difficult issues such as corruption have made it very high on the political agenda. And that has created the possibility for local civil society groups to show the problems as they are. Under the VPA, we have um, created a system whereby public can see yeah, what's really going on within the timber sector and then can demand accountability from the government. And campaigners say that when the people know what's going on and what the laws are, they can change things. In Ghana, this has already happened. We go to our communities, um, we explain to them what the law says. They immediately go to the timber company and say, the law says you are supposed to give us a social agreement or sign a social agreement with us. Until you do that, we're going to seize your operations or we're going to stop your operations. Now, because of the leverage that the trade agreement gives them, communities are being empowered. In Liberia, these agreements are clarifying existing laws. So, campaigners say they can challenge them when they are unjust. Very early on in the process, we are beginning to see some very positive outcomes. In just one year time, we were able uh, to shut down a massive illegal uh, logging operation because there is space, there is a shared platform. Not just civil society, communities themselves are actively going out, seeking issues and bringing them to the table. And I will always tell people is that the people 
should give a community people the chance. Because most of our people, especially learned people, uh, class people, always feel that a common man in the interior or in the community know nothing. He cannot make decisions for himself. Good forest governance means that when communities speak, governments have to listen. But progress is inevitably slower in some places than others. So I think in terms of transparency and accountability, the government is doing better because they have to give us uh, the chance to participate, to give comments and feedback. And that is the way we can link the community where we work with to the government. But the, how much the, the voice from vulnerable groups and the peoples are taken into account is another issue. There has been some changes, uh, positive changes, uh, even though the changes are a bit slow uh, from what I see and compared to other countries. And I can see that civil society themselves are not really strong enough to go to participate in the, in the policy process. We need to build our capacity and also network. VPA negotiations are taking place all over the world. In Guyana, the process has only just begun. But for forest communities, the stakes could not be higher. The forest is where we get everything that we need. And as a people, we use the forest to, to, for our livelihoods. So having deforestation happening automatically means that you know, you're having a direct impact on our livelihoods.